There was another top 25 matchup for us here in the Inland Northwest at the FCS level. The seventh ranked Idaho Vandals opening up Big Sky play against the fourth ranked Sacramento State. The home opener for the Vandals, Idaho with just four home games this entire season, looking to avenge last season's three point loss to the Hornets out in California. As expected, this was a slugfest. We'll pick things up in the second half. Vandals starting the third quarter here with a bang. It's a flea flicker. Giovanni McCoy going up top for Teron Ivy Jr. Bobbles, catches, stumbles, but still takes it to the house. Vandals take a 10-point lead. Hornets had an answer on their next drive. From two yards out, Marcus Fulcher in to cut the Idaho lead back to three. Final seconds of the third. This the longest play of the day. McCoy finding Therese Trainer in stride. He uses a little stiff arm to find that yellow turf. McCoy, two touchdown passes, 234 yards, no interceptions. But again, Hornets had an answer. They'd had a field goal to get within a score, and here with under five minutes left, Caden Bennett finds Fulcher to tie the game up at 27. Vandals turn with a lot of time left on the clock. They put together a long drive, and this might be the play of the game. Anthony Woods breaks a couple tackles, turns it to the other side for a big 19-yard first down, which would lead to bleeding out the clock. And with just seconds left, Ricardo Chavez from 30 yards out, a game winner, but not so fast. There was still one second left on the clock. You still got to win it off the kickoff. Vandals decide to roll with a squib kick. Hornets try everything they can here, pull off a lateral, but that does not pay off. Idaho winds up scooping it up on the fumble. Armani Arnold takes it to the crib. A nail biter goes to the Vandals, 36 to 27, inning Sac, Sac State's 22 straight regular season win streak. And for kicker Ricardo Chavez, the game winning kick, well, it meant a little extra after missing a potential game winner last season in the playoffs. There's some people that know what happened last year in the playoffs, and that was something that I took in this offseason, and, you know, that made me work harder and made me the person I am today. Man, I mean, this is my first career game-winning field goal, and I can't thank God enough. It feels amazing. <laughs> and you have a game like today where the momentum kept swinging back and forth, and I was just really proud of our guys that we kept responding uh, back and forth because that's a really good football team and great step to uh, you know be one and zero in the conference. And you know, obviously, a team doesn't you know win 22 regular season games in a row by accident. They're a very good team, so it's a good win to, to build on. The Vandals' next game will be against Eastern Washington at Roos Field. It's coming Saturday. Hey,